My boss fired me. I don't really have time for that job anyway. I've got too many projects in the works. A new book and a screenplay. And I'm fielding offers for the rights. My college classwork just seems so silly by comparison. My family wanted me to see someone to get help because I don't need sleep and my brother yelled at me, but I've been feeling great lately, so I'm just going to do this for them. I thought everything was great and I finally felt good, but I crashed and this time I crashed hard. That's when I started using drugs to feel better. I've been up and down for years and years. I have to commit to my medication and treatment every day, no matter how I'm feeling. I need to be as consistent as possible or I start having problems again. These are the voices of people with bipolar disorder. This is a condition that can be difficult to manage and it can disrupt and overwhelm every part of a person's life. I know, one of these voices is mine. During college, I felt fantastic, had tons of energy, and was super productive. I started feeling this way at the end of my last year in high school, but no one noticed because I was doing so well. But then I started doing impulsive and dangerous things. I got multiple speeding tickets for going way too fast, but I didn't think it was a problem. Then I stopped going to class, got kicked out of school, and ran out of money. I found out later that this is what was called a manic episode, or mania, which are the episodes of increased energy, impulsiveness, and other symptoms that can feel great but also cause problems for people with bipolar disorder. Some people may not experience mania in the same way I did. Others may have something called hypomania, which isn't quite as disruptive as mania, making it even more difficult to notice. People who have bipolar disorder experience episodes of mania and also depressed mood. When I experienced depression, it was so deep I couldn't get out of bed. I felt so much self-blame and so hopeless. Projects that had seemed genius when I was manic now looked disorganized and senseless. I felt worthless and struggled with thoughts of suicide. I lived this way for a long time. I finally got help and started to feel better. Once I felt better, I stopped going to therapy and taking medications. I didn't think I needed them anymore, but then the cycle would start again. I used alcohol and drugs to try to manage this, and that made things even harder. Eventually, I saw this was a big repeating pattern, and I had to treat it that way. I needed the help of a physician who prescribed a medication called a mood stabilizer to help control the extreme highs and lows. At first, I missed that great feeling of the mania, but I was also relieved that I wasn't getting in trouble anymore. And most of all, I was happy to avoid those depressive episodes, and that made me feel stable, something I hadn't felt in a long time. Working with a cognitive behavioral therapist also really helped me. I learned that my symptoms are just one part of my life, but they don't define me. I'm not crazy. I'm also not a failure. With both medication and therapy, I've learned to live with bipolar disorder, and I'm pretty happy. Bipolar disorder is really complex and can cause a lot of difficulty, but with good medical support and cognitive behavioral therapy, people can manage the condition and live the way they want to live without the out-of-control highs and horrible lows. I know. I did. <laughs>